I've been working from the notes I took from Michael Burke's apartment. And? And there are gaps in the material, Alan. Look, Vicki, I don't like what I'm hearing. Why don't you just stop beating around the bush, all right? The truth is, I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, it would be different if I actually had something to compare it to. It doesn't matter. If Michael Burke didn't clone someone, all the better for us. You and I will be the first to accomplish this scientific miracle. The miracle that's going to bring Annie Dutton back to me. You're forgetting one thing. What's that? Even if I do succeed, without the growth formula, you're not going to be able to have your Annie Dutton... Did you just mention Annie Dutton? We were merely discussing a project that Miss Brandon is working on, a project that you would have no interest whatsoever. No, no, Alan, Vanessa. don't deny it. I heard Vicky say... No, I was just... No, uh, no, she, she was just saying she was merely concerned about me, that's all. Right. Oh, yes, why? It, well, Vanessa, um... Listen, just uh, tell me everything that's going on about Annie Dutton. Well... Vanessa, you're talking to the wrong person because I haven't seen her or spoken to her since she disappeared. As a matter of fact, that was what we were discussing. That Miss Brandon said that how wonderful it was that I did not have that situation in my life anymore. Oh, excuse me. Yes, Cheryl. Thank you. Vanessa, I, I want us to have an open relationship. Oh, good. That's what I want. Believe me, I will keep nothing that is important from you. As a matter of fact, I'll go over this project we were discussing earlier, if that is... Mr. Spaulding! Reva! No, I'm not Reva. I'm Reva's cousin. Pleased to meet you. You're Reva's cousin? Do I have lipstick on my teeth or something? Oh, we didn't mean to stare. I... It's just that the, the resemblance to Reva is... Uh... It's uncanny. Uh... Astounding. Uh, forgive me, Miss... Uh... Dolly. Ah, oh, Dolly. They call me Dolly. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. You know what? I was under the impression that I was having a meeting with Reva. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I used her. You what? I used her in order to get the appointment. I mean, I thought a big, important man like yourself wouldn't see someone like me otherwise. But I guarantee you, once you hear what I have to say, you're going to be glad you did. There so you have that Shane confidence. And I am confident that you're going to want to hear what I have to say. But it has to be alone. Well, in that case, Vicki, why don't you fill Vanessa in on our genetic engineering project? You know, the one that's going to change the face of agriculture? Oh, I'd be happy to. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, Vicki's assembled quite an impressive staff of scientists, Vanessa. I welcome any chance to boast about our team of researchers. They've made some fascinating strides. After you. Increased crop production is the most common use of genetic engineering, and this research shows its uh, potential benefits to the agricultural industry. I'm aware of that. I read the newspapers. But you haven't explained all the secrecy surrounding this project that you and Alan are doing. It's Alan's pet project. It's become very personal for him. Mr. Spaulding can be very determined when he puts his mind to something. I know. That's right. Henry Chamberlain was your father. Yes, he was. He was one of the founders of this company. Wow, it must have been pretty amazing growing up in the middle of all of this. Well, Daddy was a very astute businessman, but he was a, he was a fine man. He was a generous, good man. And what about Brandon Spaulding, Alan's father? Well, let's just say that Daddy was a good counterbalance to Brandon. Brandon could be tough. Ruthless is how I heard him described. Was he? Well, let's say that it was useful that the competition thought so. But what was he like in private? I mean, with his family? Why all the questions, Vicky? Why all the questions about Brandon? This isn't just business, is it? Yeah. I just come from a different lifestyle from the Spaldings. When I was a little girl, I came across an article about this golden family. <laughs> golden family? I wouldn't put it that way. Well, they seemed that way to me then. And Springfield sounded like Camelot. I don't think so. All my friends dreamed of growing up to become Tina Turner. Well, I was fantasizing that someday I'd be a part of a place like this. 
Amazingly, it's happened. So yes, Vanessa, my involvement here is more than business for me. I intend to prove myself to do my job well. Speaking of which, um, if you'll excuse me, I should probably go and do it. <laughs> Don't let me keep you. Vicky. Yes. Good luck. Thanks. Cheryl, I want a copy of Vicki Brandon's resume and any other information we have on her. Certainly, Mrs. Rudin. Pick it up tomorrow? No, no. Uh, I'm moving into the corner office on this floor, so just get it to me ASAP. All right. 